this video, we will continue with the Factor Theorem. You will find this on page 386 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. The cubic polynomial, this, is denoted by fx. It is given that this is a factor of fx and that when fx is divided by this, x plus 2, that was x plus 1, the remainder is negative 5. Find the values of a and b. Now, they are actually just used the factor theorem and the remainder theorem. So, basically, you're just going to form two equations. So, when fx is the, it's 0, if it's a factor, then, then it means the remainder is 0. So, I substitute and I put it equal to 0. Then, if I um, substitute this, I get a remainder of negative 5. And then I substitute and I get this. And then I basically just solve them simultaneously. And then I get my two values. Really not very difficult. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number one. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Number one, A. The polynomial is denoted by Px. Okay, it is given that this is a factor. Maybe we can just highlight a few things. This is a factor of Px, and then when Px is divided by this, the remainder is 12. Find the values of A and B. Okay, let's start by saying first Px. So what, oh, then is still not correct. So Px is equal to x to the power 3 minus x squared plus Ax plus B. So the first statement say if, put it equal to 0, so I'm going to say that P, if I substitute negative 1, because if I put it equal to 0, it will be, um, become negative 1. Then it's a factor, so then it's 0. Okay. And then this statement say, if I'm putting it, if I substitute 2, because remember, put it equals 0, take that negative 2 over, it becomes positive 2. Then it will be 12. Okay, so let's just form that 2. So basically, I substitute negative 1. And the answer is 0. Okay, let's first simplify this one. So this one, I get negative 1. This becomes a positive, then it's again negative 1, minus a plus b, and it's equal to 0. So then it is going to be, okay, this is going to be negative 2, but if I take it over, uh, doesn't matter. Negative a plus b, I can take it over, then it becomes 2. Okay, let's call this equation 1. Then let's go for equation 2. So I substitute 2. So it's 2 to the power of 3 minus 2 squared plus a, 2, plus b, and that is equal to 12. So this is going to be 8 minus 4 plus 2a plus b, and that's equal to 12. So this is 8 minus 4, so it's going to be 4. So this is going to be 2a plus b. Okay, now if it's positive 4, if it goes over, it becomes a negative. So it's going to be 12 minus 4, and that's just going to be 8. And that is equation 2. Okay, now I'm going to solve them simultaneously. So solve equation 1 and 2 simultaneously. Okay. And then, I'm just going to write it now here, so it's, to the color, negative a plus b equals 2, and 2a plus b is equal to 8. Okay, now if I subtract this 2, then I change the signs. So, because, okay, I'm basically multiplied by a negative. 
So that this becomes a negative, this a negative, this a negative. And the reasons is that that two can cancel out. Because then, this two will cancel out, and this will be negative 3a, and this will be negative 6. And if I divide negative, divide negative 3, so therefore the value of a will be 2. Okay. And then I will just substitute into, okay, let's just go up, substitute a equals to in equation 1 or 2. Okay, so let's just do it in, uh, I think it's rather better to do it in 2 because I don't like that negative where it starts with. But it doesn't matter, you can do it in 1 or 2. So it's going to be 2, and in the place of a, I put a 2, plus b is equal to 8. And then I will have 4 plus b is equal to 8. So therefore, b is equal to 8 minus 4. So therefore, the value of b will be equal to 4. So a is equal to 2, and b is equal to 4. Okay, that's number a. Now, when A and B have these values, factorize. So basically, I'm taking now, and I put it in, in this B, X. So I'm just going to move up a little bit with that B and see if I can fit it in here. And now I just go a little bit down there. I just see that equation. It's the one on top also. Okay, but let's just first write it down. So it's going to be X to the power of 3 minus x squared uh, plus 2x, because I substitute the value of a, plus 4. Okay. But now, don't forget, start with, you know that this was a factor, x plus 1. So you don't have to do the trial and error. You know it's a factor. So you just, okay, let's just say uh, it was x plus 1. Remember? x plus 1 is a factor. So let's just do that long division. And now I'm going to do the short one. Okay. So I'm basically just going to draw my lines. And this, if it's, then it will become negative 1. Don't forget. Okay. Of course you put it equal to 0. And then just this. Let's just write. This is 1. This is negative 1, 2, 4. So 1, negative 1, Two, four. Then bring this one down, and this is one. If you multiply, you get negative one. Then you get negative two. If you multiply, you get two. If you add, you get four, and negative four. Because it's a factor, it must be zero. Okay. And now, don't forget <coughs> how I usually no x, then an the x, put the plus, and then an x squared. Okay. And now I factorize, and now I have, um, what was it, x plus 1, Let's put it in red. It was x plus 1, and then I have now the x squared minus the 2x plus the 4. And then I'm going to factorize again. So it's going to be 2 and 2 and 1 and 1. Uh, and let's just see, if it's 2 and 2, uh, no, it's not going to, to work because it must add to give me that value. So let's just see, x squared minus 2x plus 4. Okay, let's just go back. Uh, it seems to me it's the only factor because that one cannot factorize further. So, okay, let's just see, I have these values factorized. I can, I can solve it with the formula, but then this is not factorization. So because th this is a positive and this, no, cannot factorize, cannot. So, therefore, this is my factorized answer. So, don't think it always will go and break this one up into brackets again. If the, it's only if you cannot factorize further, you just stop.